Hi guys, my name is Sandy Sills. I'm a licensed realtor here in the Central Florida area, and I'm doing a series of videos of rent to own. So if you'd like, you should go ahead and subscribe to this channel, and also press that little bell. What that will do is that will alert you every time a new video is uploaded, and this is some great information to have. Today's video is gonna be rent to own a home, pros and cons. What are the pros, what are the cons of renting a home with the option to purchase? Well, we're with this fantastic company that does this program in Florida. It's not available in every state, but it's available in Florida. And in Florida, you're able to rent a home with the option to purchase. What this company will do, they will come in, they will purchase the property, and then they'll rent it back to you with a rent with option to purchase. Let's talk about the pros first. The pros are, one, there's limited rentals in Central Florida. And there's a lot of relocation going on. We are like, Orlando is becoming one of the fastest growing area. Okay, so there's a lot of people coming in. Now, when these people are coming in, they don't necessarily want to commit to buying a home as yet because they're not familiar with the area. They're not necessarily familiar with the neighborhoods, nor do they know what area they probably would like to live in. So a lot, a lot of them would like to rent first and then purchase later. The rent with option to buy program opens up a whole pool of rentals because there's limited rentals in Orlando. So with Own Partners of America, the company that we're teaming up with, what they do, they go ahead and they'll purchase any property that's available for sale for you and then rent it back to you with the option to purchase. So you could go in any neighborhood, anywhere you want, find a home you want, as long as it's priced of $400,000 or less, find the home you want, contact an agent that's working with Own Partners of America like myself, and they will go ahead and set you up on the program. Now, the good thing about this program is you only need a credit score of 575 or more, so 575, and you need a combined income of $48,000. So as long as your combined household income is $48,000, those are the two criteria that you need to fulfill. And the property is, is priced at $400,000 or less, and there's no limitations on the homeowners association. So we have to make sure that the, if the property is in an homeowners association, we gotta make sure that the HOA is okay with having rental properties in their program. Most of the uh, most of the HOAs here are. There are very few that's limited, and the ones that are limited are the higher priced homes anyway. So those homes don't qualify. So those are the pros. You get to choose the neighborhood you want, you get to choose the house you want, so you don't have to wait for a house to come on the market for rent. They will buy the house for you as long as it's on the market for sale. Another pro is once you sign up to the program on their website, and when you sign up for the program, there's no obligation. You could just register into the website and just browse around to get all the information you need, right? So once you sign up for that and um, you're on their website, all the properties that we have available for sale in MLS is on the website that qualifies for this program. So every day, the IDX system that works with all partners of America will go into our MLS system and pull all the properties that qualify for their program and it's gonna be on their website. Even a step better than that, the, each property, you'll see the purchase price of the property, you'll see what the rental income, would, what you would be paying per month for rent. And this program has a five-year option. So you have up to five years to buy the property. However, you're not committed to five years because each year the lease expires and you'll, you'll re-sign a lease every year until the five-year runs out. You have up to five years to purchase. So if the lease runs out and you don't intend to purchase, then hey, that's great because then you just move once the lease expires you don't have to keep renewing it you could move at any point in time so any point throughout the five years once the lease expires you could move you're not committed to that which is great so on the website it shows you what the purchase price is and what the rent is it, it also shows you what the rent is going to be if every year that you're renewing so the rent is going to increase each year for five years but you'll see all of that on the website once you choose a property, and also you'll see what the purchase price would be if you were to purchase a property in year one, two, three, four, or year five. It tells you what the appreciation is every year. Obviously, the longer you take to purchase it is the more money the house is gonna be going for, right? Because appreciation. Um, at the end of the term, if you decide, you know what, I don't like this neighborhood, or I could probably find a cheaper home in the same neighborhood, as long as the lease is expired, you could go ahead and buy another home. Not a problem. No, what a fantastic thing. So these are all the pros. So the pros the so the pros are you get to purchase the home you want in the neighborhood that you want. You you could have a credit score as low as five seventy five and still qualify. If you're relocating, this is a great way to get started. To start learning the neighborhoods and not to be committed to purchasing, right? On the website it tells you 
every what the rent would be for each step of the way every year that you're renewing this lease and you have an out so every time the lease is up for renewal you don't have to renew it you can move now let's talk about some of the cons some of the cons would be you're limited to homes up to four hundred thousand dollars so if it's in a neighborhood that the homes are priced over four hundred thousand dollars then you, it wouldn't you wouldn't qualify for the program if your credit score is lower than 575 you then you wouldn't qualify for the program because um, then that would be a credit score issue right if your income is less than forty eight thousand dollars for the year then you wouldn't qualify for the program either that would not kind of work out for you right if the homeowners association will not allow you to rent or they don't allow renting in that particular development then you would not be able to purchase in the development one of the biggest cons um one of the biggest cons of this program is you're not able to buy new construction American Home Partners of America won't buy new construction because they do their, the, the builders and them just, the builders, it's a lot of gray area with, with um, working with builders. And because they're a big investment company and the builders are a big investment company, there's a lot of clash in there. Some of the new construction homes will work, some won't, so you might be limited in buying a brand new construction home. However, if it's an inventory home, that might work. And an inventory home is where a builder will build, build a home and it's 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 on it's in a new development site the builder build it but everything is already done and you just gotta move in right it could be because somebody was trying to build was um purchasing the property and they credit and their their deal fell through they couldn't purchase the property or it could be the builder wanted to give some quick moving homes where they're building homes but but not everyone can wait for the home to be built so they'll build some of them and finish them off so somebody is able to move into them some of those homes might work some might not right so those are the limitations. If you don't have the credit score, if you don't have the income, if the property is priced over $400,000, or if it's a new construction home where the builder is not able to work with Home Partners of America to get the deal closed, right? Those are the cons. Now, the pros, especially in this area, this doesn't work for every area, but because Central Florida has such limited rentals in it, and Orlando is such a fast-paced growing area, not just Orlando, but all the surrounding areas, so a lot of times you hear Orlando, 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 but there's a lot of areas that surround Orlando like Kissimmee, Claremont, Davenport, Celebration, Champions Gate that people don't hear of, Grooveland, you know, Lake Mary, Lake Nona, St. Um, Clouds. These are areas that are all in the surrounding of um, Orlando and they fall in the same category. Like most of these are homes and they're not available for rent. They're mostly available for sale. So this program gives you the ability to actually purchase a home that's available for sale. The company comes in, purchase a property for you, give you a rent with option to purchase. They tell you upfront what, what your rent would be for all five years if you decide to do five years with them or one or two. You have a out every time the lease is up for renewal every single year. It also tells you what the price of the house would be based upon what here you purchased a home from them. Or you could just let the lease expire and go purchase a home somewhere else. What a program, right? remember to subscribe to the channel um because i'll be doing a series of videos and you want to be notified each time the video is done and also remember to press on that little bell thing that will alert you each time a video is uploaded but i'll be doing a series of these videos because i'm so excited about this program like we don't have, we did not have this program in new york i wish we did but we don't but it's in florida it's also in texas now but in texas you have an option to purchase up to three years in Florida, you have an option to purchase up to five. So every area is different. So I can only talk about my area. So my area gives you up to five years to purchase and it is a great way to start your own ownership, especially if you're relocating or if you're trying to buy a home but you're not yet ready or you're not qualified to buy one. Thank you so much for listening. I'll see you in the next video, guys.